Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vina Kerry Kebuna. If this is your first time here, please subscribe before you leave. But if you're joining, subscribe by clicking to watch my new video. Thank you very much for stopping by today once again to watch this new video. So yes, I want to say something about my last video I just put up. It's also the BBN. I was talking about the BBN reunion about the whole Dorothy and um Brito Watoni situation in that video. I've been uploading that video since yesterday, like for almost 24 hours I've been uploading that video. The weather was bad. And even though if it, it, right now it feels still, like the video shouldn't be up at this point. I feel like, see, I wish I had so much time, so much energy, so much data. I'm not going to let that video just be in my phone for no reason. So it's still going to be up. So yes, I still went ahead to upload the video, even though it's still at the moment. But whatever, whatever, man, because I wasn't going to leave that video on my phone. Rara, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> But let's talk about our current BBN reunion show. What happened last night? <laughs> I want to say this here, yeah, like for the first time since the show began, this is like the first episode where we are having adult conversation, where it wasn't just about the bass bows, it wasn't just about the clapbacks, it wasn't just about people just coming at each other. Like you could genuinely see that okay that they were having a genuine conversation. It wasn't just for clouds because. All of these other episodes have just been unnecessary reactions, unnecessary cloud chasing. It's been too obvious. It was just eh, almost cringing at some point. But yesterday, let's start with, and then I'm going to start first of all because Nengi is my girl, so I'm going to start with Nengi and Kidwaya video saga. I'm going to start with that because finally my girl got vindicated. Like, you know what they've been trying to do here? Katrina and her cohorts, they've been trying to drag my girl to the mud. They've been trying to drag Nengi to the mud, but my girl is not going to come she's not going to come down to your level like nengi still walked out of that situation yesterday on stage katrina must be pretty mad she must be pretty mad like <laughs> she must be very annoyed but whatever whatever so yeah they played a the clip of when um about when nengi and kidwaya were in the toilet apparently they were not even in the toilet together they were in the toilet hallway the yeah, toilet hallway and then neo and also walked in and then nengi ran off and then came back and tried to get her clothes zipped by kid wire and then she he left kid wire left and then also helped us zip it the zip obviously was hard because now this this is the situation nengi went to pee it was in the, they were in the party it was a party night and they were in the party nengi went to pee she met kid wire there she was wearing um i think it's a jumpsuit or like it yeah she needed help with her zip so but before kid wire zipped her clothes he was whispering something nice and we know how flirty kid wire can be nengi is also a, a flirty girl so they were flirting Nengi and Kidwaya were just, and they are, they are friends and they are quite comfortable with each other, so they were flirting. Now, this is my opinion, this is what I think happened. They were being flirting, and um, Kidwaya helped her zip down her dress. She went to be, she ran off, and you see, it was just a coincidence at the point she was running off to people, when also an, a new walked in on her, walked in on them. So, if you're like, if you're suspicious, I can, I can understand how that would look, but then it really was just a coincidence because if anything had happened, to be honest, they would have shown it. Like it, what I said, if anything that happened in like it's in the rule book, if anything happens that in the bathroom that shouldn't be happening, it will be shown. So, if anything that happened, they would have shown it. Why they did not show anything happening was because nothing happened, right? So, then he went to pee, came back. Kidwa tried helping to zip, but then Ozo came out. So Kidwa left the zip, so Ozo could help. So Ozo helped, and even while Ozo was try and trying to zip, it was hard, it wasn't easy. The zip obviously was hard to pull, and then um, Ozo was asking, like, What's going on? Why are you guys here together? And she was like, nothing. I came to pee. And she could see the disbelief in his face. So she tried explaining more. She was like, why? Why are you asking? Like, what's up? What's wrong? Because Odor's countenance fed. Obviously, he's seen his love interest with another guy in a compromising situation. Any guy would feel bad. So Odor's countenance fed. And then he tried to just, like, um, build his confidence once again and say, guy, nothing happened. Like... Why? Why? And he was like, don't worry, I believe you. As long as you're saying the truth, just make sure that you're living your truth. As he said that and then they walked, they, they passed it. So yesterday on the show, they asked um, also what he thinks about the whole situation. And he said that he believed Nengi. And then because, like, because he kept on asking over and over, it didn't, it didn't seem like he believed her. But um, and also was like, right? You see, from what I just watched, obviously nothing happened. So and I, when I asked her, she said nothing happened. So I believe her. Whatever, whatever she says, I believe in someone living their truth. And if that's her truth, I believe her. They asked them, um, kid, they asked Nengi what happened. And Nengi said, nothing happened. Obviously, she went to be like, what I just said, that's what Nengi said. And then kid, kid said, if something had happened, they would have shown it in the clip. Nothing happened. She, they coincidentally were in the bathroom together because it was they, they had a lot to drink that night. So he had a lot to drink. So peeing is part of 
is, is side effect of drinking too much so he went to pee and then he saw Nengi, Nengi needed help with her zip he helped her zip down so that, that's it so there was no issue there's really no issue there, there nothing nothing happened so that's how my girl's name Claire Katrina Auntie Katrina before they even played the video Auntie Katrina said that why was Nengi she felt like Nengi was triggering Erica why was why, Nengi knowing that Erica is and like I like Skidwire, why would Nengi be, be <laughs> dancing with Kidwire in such a way and Kidwire was choking her? You know my point here. It's funny how Kidwire excused the whole I mean, sorry how Katrina excused the whole Kidwire flirting and then blamed everything on Nengi. It's like she was like, you know he's a guy. It's like she just excused all Kidwire's flirtatious behavior on the grounds that he's a guy. And then she blamed Nengi, said Nengi was leading me, leading leading him on. I don't know why women do this. Why is it that when a guy is asking another lady as if when he has a lady, it's the girl's fault? How is it the girl's fault? See, and me, I've said it before. If I ever, ever go and meet any girl and argue and fight or drag because of a man, see, make sure he beats me. Pieces on my teeth, scatter on my mat. Beat me, beat me. And if I ever go and disgrace my family name like that, I go and argue because of a man, make sure that you beat me to stupor so I will, no, I will never. Repeat it again. Be, be sure that you beat me very well. Because Katrina is accusing Kidwire's flirtatious behavior on the grounds that he's a man and then attacking Nengi for leading him, lead, saying she was leading him on, is what women always do. And quite frankly, it's annoying. It's annoying that women do that. Katrina just, what, what, Katrina, she, Katrina is obsessed with Nengi. It's clear at this point that she's obsessed with Nengi. She's, she feels like Nengi is uh, portraying herself to be this Miss Goody Two Shoes, and she's not so good after all. And she wants to stay Nengi's voice. Well, the God of Nengi is a living God. Nengi is having a living God. She couldn't be stayed. Katrina, you have lost once again. You know, in this world, you know, you know, how many times have come for Nengi? Can you count how many times Katrina have come for Nengi? And in all of those times, Nengi has been vindicated. See, sometimes it's have a living God. Now, they can serve a living God. <laughs> so that was that about Nengi and Kid Wire's bathroom saga. What else again? Watoni and Kidwire. Oh, Watoni calls Kidwire a community boy because Kidwire was flirting with every girl in the house. He didn't exactly make his stance known. He was he wanted to be with this girl and be with that girl. And in Kidwire's defense, he said, I'm a flirtatious person. It's just who I am. Doesn't mean it's not even that deep. Nothing is that deep to, to some people are flirtatious like that. And they don't really send you if you feel like they're leading you on. They are sorry because to be frank with you, eh, they are not leading you on. They are not trying to be anything more. They just like to flirt. And Kidwai is that kind of person, so Watoni calling me a community boy is like whatever she, whatever she says, man, whatever she thinks in her, in her head, that's fine. He knows that he's not a community boy. He wasn't, he wasn't going about spreading, sharing penis all around the place. He just was flirting and making people feel good about themselves. He, they, well, he didn't, he wasn't trying to disrespect anybody or hurt anybody's feeling. He's sorry that he's just flirtatious like that. And so Watoni was paying too. And then Tochi came for Watoni and said, Why is Watoni calling? Then keep by a flat um, sorry, a community boy when she was the community girl, she wanted to be in every guy's bed, she wanted to have a relationship with any girl. And like, why do you think you are so hot after all? Oh, let me tell you what led to that conversation. So, Watoni said that why did Tochi tell Kid to go for Watoni that she's an easy catch that that was disrespectful to her? Why would Tochi do that? And Tochi said that like, he, he didn't talk about her, like he said, but she said, I, I saw the video of you telling Kid to come for me that I'm an easy catch. Why would you think I'm an, I'm, 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 I'm an easy catch? And Tochi said, first of all, he doesn't even know, he doesn't even remember that, but he knows that Watoni wanted to like she wanted to be in a relationship, she wanted to be booed up in the house, and she wanted like almost every guy was a prospect for her. So if she's talking about community person, yeah, she's the community girl and not kid wire. So Watoni and um, and um, Tochi Sha had their moment, but Tochi, Tochi won that round because Tochi finished Watoni Sha. Tochi gave say, if you're so hot, why didn't any guy want you in the house? <laughs> She said, because I didn't want that, because I didn't need that. So she finished. She was, he brushed, he brushed for Tony. Clean, clean. That one, he won. Tochi, um, no, no. Next one is Neo and Kaisha's situation. Wow. That one I didn't even see coming because, yeah, I didn't rate that whole situation enough for it to even be a thing. I'm sorry. So, remember a few episodes ago, um, Tolani Bad said, when Tolani Bad was trying to educate herself that she didn't like Neo, she also said that that's how Neo was leading the girls on in the house and he even led Kaisha on. And Neo was like, me, lead Kaisha on her. Said, so you don't lead Kaisha on her. So that was mentioned like two episodes ago. Now, 
Kaisha is here now and they brought her Kaisha and new situation and Kaisha said that Neo was interested in her. In fact she likes Neo in the house. Right now she doesn't like him anymore. She likes him in the house. He um he was leading her on, he was giving her the green lights, even though he was with V. You know when Kaisha was evicted, she said that she doesn't mind breaking the table with and yeah, that's her name now. V and Neo. She doesn't mind breaking that if she was in the house for much longer, she would have broken that table. So now they ask V what V thinks about the situation. V is like, I know that a lot of girls were interested in Neo, but what I don't, what I did not know was the fact that he was giving them green light and the fact that he let Kaisha on. She she feels disappointed that everybody else in the house knew, but her she didn't see that Neo was giving Kaisha the green light. Which I did not see. I'm sorry, and I watched that show. I did, but I did not see Neo giving Kaisha the green light. Neo now was being defensive. Say he was not giving Kaisha the green light. That Kaisha was the one that liked him. And Kasha was like, wait, Neo, you did not like me. You, you did not like you did not say you like me. Neo, you did not like me in that house. She really wanted to know. It was like the girl came for a uh, closure. Kasha came for closure in the show. She wanted she wanted Neo to say after whether or not he liked her on the show so she can have peace. I don't know why she needed that. But I mean I get I, I mean I get why she would want that. But Neo's girlfriend is there, you don't expect him to say yes or no. So Neo did not answer the question. He found a way to dodge and did not answer Kaisha. And he was like, Kaisha, did I ever tell you I liked you in the house? Kaisha, did I ever tell you I liked you in the house? Apparently, he did not go straight to that. But she said that in one of the parties, he asked her to kiss him in the party. Neo was like, am I daft? Am I dumb? Why would I ask you to kiss me in the presence of everybody? Like, we are at the party. There are people there. If I was leading you on, you think that's what I would do? And Kasha was like, Neo, you're lying. Neo, you're a liar. You said that, and you know you said, you said that. She said that to me, my yes, I would not lie. See, see Kasha said, if you, if you, be careful of this guy. This, this guy is a liar. <laughs> we all know that Neo is a liar, by the way. Neo lied in the house a lot. Neo is a liar. And so, that's why I want to believe that he said what he said to Kasha, but it was just cruise. It probably was just cruise. And Kasha took it seriously because she liked him. So, yes, Neo led Kasha on after all. And V, V said, she doesn't know what to think, but she just feels like it's. I mean, the guys being guys, they would be interested in other girls, but him giving her that attention was quite disrespectful to her, sure, but it's okay. So I don't, I don't know. I think Neo and, Neo and V are still strong, they're still going strong. So that whole reunion thing did not shake them, hopefully. Because I'm, I'm rooting for them. I'm a Neo and V fan, so hopefully they get they grow stronger and better. Yep. And then the last thing I was discussing yesterday was Lily and Erica's situation. Lilo and Eric situation you know why i said yesterday she was so mature it was because negi and kid handled their situation well um kaisha's own brought a lot of chaos and a little bit of chaos she went she walked out and then she came back in and uh, what else um tochi and watoni had their quanta small shot but you see this lilo and eric and kid Waya and negi they handled their situation quite maturely so by the way eric eric is crucial eric is a dude he's like a guy a guy's guy he's so cool just he's such a cool dude so he said when he came out of the house, he called Lilo up so they could settle and he asked her because the video Lilo did with Ebuka, she kind of it kind of felt like um Eric spot her game and Eric took advantage of her in the house because she he knew that she likes him. Even though he knows that she was in a relationship outside the house and she had said it many times, he still went ahead to take advantage of her. And I said, when he saw that video, he felt disappointed. Like, why would you think that? Why would you think that what we had in the house was me taking advantage of you? We are both consenting adults, and we got into what we got into in the house with both of our consents. Why would you think that me, I was the one taking advantage of you? So he wanted to clear the air with Lilo, and he called. I'm like, hey, what's up, Lilo? And so I saw this video about da 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 da. da. What did you mean by that? And she was like, please, if you want to come at me, come at me with receipts, come at me with full evidence, and stop coming at me with just mere yeses. Go and watch the video and come back. And I was like, I'm talking to you now. Can you please clear the air with me right now that I'm talking to you? She was like, and she hung up. So she was she, she was rude to him. And then they, they conducted an interview together. And apparently, according to uh, Eric, Lilo came with a goals. <laughs> she came with somebody was combing her hair, somebody was finding her. She came like she was she wanted to win the interview. Like she came with a uh, bazooka to a catapult fight, that kind of thing. And he wasn't having it. So that was where he was done. So Lilo and Eric are done. That's that's how they all said it. And that's that's it. There was no back and forth. There was no buzz buzz. There was no clap back. There was just nothing. They both just agreed that they were done. Ebuka asked Lilo if she was interested in Eric even outside the house, and she was like, no. So like, you guys are good now. You guys are cool. Then yes, okay, cool. That's it. And the show ended. 
there was a fan question about Lacon do Lacon and as we know of the show he went there to promote his music. What's what's that about now? So he said okay, when he entered the house is EP streams was about 100,000 and then after when he came out it was about 7 million right now it's about 30 million so he felt like he did well with promoting his music and he's proud of himself so yeah he did good that's what the show was all about yesterday so tell me what you guys think about the Maggie and Kid Rock situation especially do you guys believe them? do you think they planned their answer? do you think they were saying their truth? also do you think Ozo believes Nengi when she's saying that nothing happened? do you think he believed her in the house? do you think he believes her now? what's your take on that? And yeah, Lily and Eric, Lily and Eric, mm, they'll be fine. Yes, yeah, so yeah, that's why I'm ending my video today. Thank you guys for watching, and let's see my next video. Please remain good. God bless you. Bye.